Hey guys, Bowie here and this is my hotkeys and settings video. Dota is a pretty complex game and having hotkeys that fit your needs and are balanced will definitely help you get better at it. The first thing we need to touch upon is quick cast. If you ask around, you'll notice that some pros don't use quick cast. The thing about Dota is that comfort and muscle memory is super important. Some pros play this game for over 10 years and for them, changing some habits might result in underperforming for a decent amount of time, so that's why they just keep on doing what they're doing. Even though not every pro uses quick cast, they definitely recommend you checking it out. When I changed from normal cast to quick cast, I remember playing terribly for the first two months, but at that year, I was finally able to go from 4k MMR to 5k MMR by working on that and other small things. But you might be wondering, what is Quick Cast? Quick Cast allows you to cast spells by only pressing the hotkey instead of also using your mouse. When you're playing heroes like Invoker, that have a ton of different clicks from invoking spells, you can clearly see the difference in cast time. A lot of times, games can be decided in one quick reaction time battle, and having items and abilities in Quick Cast allow you to respond faster to many different situations. So that being said, let's take a look on my settings and my suggestions on how to fine tune your Dota configuration. If you're looking at yours right now, you'll probably notice that it's slightly different than mine if you cannot see the cast on items and auto cast on skills. Hover over to the advanced settings and make sure to select these settings if that's the case. My suggestion, if you're not used to quick casting, is to use your normal hotkeys on cast, but add alt hotkey to quick cast. A lot of the times with quick cast, players lose that safety and control they get with the cursor, so when you're in doubt, you can always restart to your old habits. But ideally, you should try to use your old hotkeys on quick cast first. One good tip to have in mind is leaving the first quick cast slot empty. TP scrolls and boots of travel, they don't work well with quick cast because you cannot double tap, and a lot of the times being forced to select a place to TP will kill you. I like to leave F1 to select Curry and F2 to deliver items, with F3 being my quick buy purchase hotkey. It's one swift movement that delivers all the items that I want pretty fast. Another thing in the hotkeys tab that I want to talk about and I feel like it's super underrated is the chat wheel. People are used to use chat or voice and in some games that works fine, but a lot of the times the chat wheel is not only faster to convey ideas, but it's also neutral. Dota is a mind game and sometimes the way you express stuff or the way your ally interprets what you're talking about can transfer something simple in conflict. I really like the chat wheel because of how neutral and direct it is. This is the way I configure mine, I feel like it contains almost everything that I feel the need to convey during the game and if you're not used to this, try it out. It's pretty good. I also complement my chat wheel with two phrases, get back and push, and if you want to, you can use some extra ones as well. Control groups are also an important aspect of gameplay, whether you play Chan, PL, Half the Dominator Heroes, Manta Heroes, Meeple, there's a ton that goes into this, and these are my configurations. I have four control groups selected at Z, X, C, and V, which means I can have one control group on Z for alone, for just one illusion, X for the other one, and C for both of them. You can go crazy on control groups and have as many possibilities as possible. The beauty of this is that Dota will save for each hero your preferred control groups, making your subsequent game smooth and easy. I also use Tab for selecting between between multiple units, I'm pretty sure this is the standard configuration, but if yours is different, considering using it, I feel like the tab key is nicely positioned for that type of play. And another underrated feature that Dota offers is mapping your map with hotkeys. One of the most common uses for this feature is being able to check both runes at the same time, if you're playing mid or support, so that you can scout where is it or what runes spawn, and play accordingly. But you can do way more than that, you can map specific areas of the map, like shrines or ancient camps, try to think of your last games and notice which areas you frequently resort to and map accordingly to to your needs. Obviously, this is just the first part of an in-depth options and configurations video. Hopefully, this was useful to you guys, and if you want to check the options tab, I'll talk more about it in the next video.